How to build a super easy bee farm in Minecraft. These are the resources you will need for this farm. Okay, so the first step of this farm will be to place yourself out four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then on top of these blocks, you will need to place four beehives. Then you will need to place four blocks to the left of this. One, two, three, four, going upwards, then to the right. One, two, three, four. Then you will need to place a line of blocks connecting those two lines, just like this. Then you will need to place four dispensers facing down into the beehives. Then after you've done that, you will need to place four flowers right here. Then you will need to expand the wall we have on the side right here by two more blocks going outwards on both sides then after you've done that you can build a three high glass block wall right there also this does not need to be glass you can build this wall out of anything but i like to use glass simply so i can watch the bees then after you've done that you will of course need to build a roof over this and now onto the collecting system so to do that you will need to break out these blocks right here these four blocks simply so you have some room to stand in then you will need to break yourself down a bit you can also break out these glass then simply break out the blocks we have which are right under the flowers this is very important they have to be right under flowers as they are right there you can also break out some extra space simply to have some more space so after you've broken out the four blocks that's under the flowers, you will need to expand this broken block plan, I guess you can say, by or one more block to the right and to the left, just like this. So if I break up here, I would reach this wall, I break up one more block, I will be pretty much one block to the left and to the right of where the flowers are. Then after you've done that, in the middle right here, you will need to place a double chest or a singular chest, that's up to you, but place a double chest. Then place two hoppers going into that chest, just like this. This will have to be in the middle of where the flowers are. Then after you've done that, you will need to place two blocks to the left side of the hoppers, then two blocks to the right side then on the last block or the block that's first away from the chest you will need to place a lever right there flick it on do the same on the other side then place two powered rails in those corners these should also be turned on because of the lever then you will need to place four normal railings pretty much going across the first block we placed along with the hoppers and then you will need to place a hopper minecart in one of the corners now this hopper minecart will continue to go back and forth now you can simply get yourself out of here but of course you will need to get into this room so you can collect what you have so you can make a little staircase like this or use ladders you can do whatever you want or you can of course reach the chest from here too then after you've done that you will need to build redstone so to do that you will need to head to the back of what we built so far and then you will need to place a block behind the beehives along with also behind the dispensers just like this then after you've done that you will need to go one down and one out and then place a two block long row of walls if that makes sense or the ground on the ground i guess then after you've done that you will need to place four redstone comparators going out from the first block we placed this should also be pretty much in front of the block that's behind the beehive just like this then you will need to place four redstone dust right there then you will need to place a temporary block right here block on top of the temporary block then destroy the temporary block then place four blocks right here or i guess three more with then redstone dusts on top of those blocks then on top of the redstone dust we have right here at the bottom you will need to place four glass just like this then place four redstone dust on top of those glass then connect up the blocks we have right here with the glass using more blocks and then fill in all of these blocks with more redstone so now you should have something looking like this then after you've done that you will also quickly need to destroy out these blocks right here and then fill up these dispensers with either shares or bottles then of course you will need to block off this again and now we have one last step and that is to get some bees inside this little room now there's many ways to do that what i like to do is simply make a separate room where i breed up the bees and then simply bring them in here using leashes but if you're going to do that i would also recommend you place a door right there simply so you can access this room easily and then also get out of it quickly without having to break the glass and then having the bees fly out so if you're doing it that way you can place a temporary door here and then you will need to fill up this room with bees but there's one quick thing to mention and remember and that is that beehives can hold up to three bees each so i would recommend that you fill it up to the max as in use three bees so pretty much three bees in each of these beehives so if you have used four beehives right here you will need to have 12 bees so anyways start filling up the room with bees one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve then after you filled up those bees you will need to get out of here and that's why a door is so nice because you can quickly open it and then close it so yeah now the farm is pretty much done and all you need to do now is just sit back and wait for the bees to pick up the pollen or whatever it's called from the flower then fly into the beehive and whenever the beehive gets you know full of pollen the redstone we have behind here will send a little signal which will then detect this dispenser which will of course then use either the shares or the honey sorry i mean the empty bottles onto of course the beehives so yeah anyways that is it for this one i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you found this helpful if you have any questions about how this works feel free to leave them in the comment and i'll answer your questions right away anyways thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out